Welcome to the making of the bazaar. This week's topic is Dooley. Who's Julie, you ask? Julie is a sentient AI. He's a cute little round robot. We knew some things about Dooley, but we didn't have any details. We thought about some of its strengths and weaknesses and decided that it would be a shielding character and that would be one of its greatest defensive strengths. And for offense, it would be a build-up type of character that excelled in longer fights, but not so much of a burst character. What we really needed for Dooley was a central mechanic, something that the whole character is based around that feels unique and different. So we set every designer upon the task. We said, next week, we're gonna have a meeting, bring your best ideas to it. And this led us to a couple of core ideas that we thought would be pretty cool. For example, someone said, hey, Dooley could have a heating up mechanic. Another suggestion was a functions mechanic, which said Dooley had a core and when the core activated, it would trigger all the functions. And then there was a version where the core just accelerated all your items. So when Dooley's core triggered, it would just move everything up. And we also had a tech tree sort of version where the core had a bunch of different tech trees it could branch into. Some of the ideas had flaws. Some of them were too insular. They were too parasitic. They relied on themselves so much that if another character saw a Dooley item, they wouldn't be able to use it because they weren't Dooley. And we didn't like that as much for the Bazaar. We think it's exciting when you see a shot from another character and can incorporate one Vanessa item in your Stell build, and we wanted that to be true for Dooley as well. Each of these ideas had different strengths and weaknesses, and for some, the weaknesses outweighed the strengths. In the end, we were left with two that we thought had the most potential. For Dooley's core mechanic, Dooley starts with the core on his board. It'll be Dooley's first item instead of the basic item other characters get. It does a little bit of damage, and also advances the cooldowns on Dooley's other items. Then at the start of each day, you can upgrade the core. As you upgrade the core, the advancement gets more powerful, and so does the damage. This isn't always free, but it makes the core more powerful. And making this choice takes you down the path of Dooley's core is the main thing and driving his functionality. When you get the core to the highest level, it's really quite powerful. So we have a core mechanic in which Dooley has a core that can be upgraded over the course of the game, and a heat mechanic in which Dooley builds up heat and then dissipates that heat somehow. And Dooley's other items check that heat level and have different results based on where you were. It felt like a classic mecha game where you've got a lot of powerful things, but they build up a lot of heat. And if you don't manage that, you set yourself on fire. To pick between these two builds, well, we, we kind of need to try them. This is where the pure thinking part of design had to end and the practical part of trying things out for ourselves needed to begin. At some point, you can't just theorize anymore. You have to play it a little bit and see how it feels to really make a final decision. So the next step is make them. But for a game like the Bazaar, you can't just make the mechanic. You have to actually make some items too or else you can't really try it. So to try each of these, we have to make the core mechanic itself and we have to make a bunch of items to go with it. Not all the items for Dooley, just enough that you can get an idea for how it's gonna play out. So once we've done that, we'll pick one of the two directions. We'll pick either a core that upgrades or a heat overheat type of mechanic. Thank you for watching this episode all about Dooley. Join us next time on the making of The Bazaar.